Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Matt, AG4JT. He says, while rag chewing on 40 meter CW, another station operator and I politely disagreed on wire antennas. I said that a resonant antenna can hear you better. He said it was his experience that the more wire you put in the air, the better you can hear. Could you lend your experience and wisdom to this topic? Well, you're both right, of course. Um, a resonant antenna will hear very, very well on its resonant frequency. A uh, long wire, which is defined in the literature as a wire longer than two or three entire wavelengths. So we're talking very long wire here can actually hear quite well. The issue is really the issue of transmitting with such a wire because it will um, have a very strange impedance. So you're going to need to have an antenna tuner uh, before you connect this thing up, okay? Now, a uh, long piece of wire has a bigger capture area, so it's going to pick up maybe more of the signal. The question has to do with the impedance matching between the long wire and the receiver. It's a bigger antenna. Uh, long wires uh, have a, an advantage of being particularly good because they're directional. They tend to be directional in the direction the long wire is pointing. Okay, So yes, in that case you can hear better using the long wire. Whereas your resonant antenna is going to have a more circular or closer to circular radiation pattern, which means you can hear from all directions. So the guy with the long wire is going to hear certain signals better, and you're going to hear um, signals from other places better. So for some signals, you'll hear better. For some, he'll hear better. Now, receivers don't care quite so much about proper SWR, although a good way of pre-tuning a tuner is to tune for maximum noise. Uh, that, that's the same thing as tuning for maximum signal from uh, other stations. But again, remembering the directionality of what you're doing. Long wires were quite popular in the early days of radio. In the very earliest days of radio, the longest wires were called beverage antennas and invented by a guy named Beverage. The antenna is only eight or 10 feet in the air, off the ground, okay? So it's a low antenna. It's a straight line, several wavelengths long. Um, it's a terrible antenna. However, it receives a lot less noise than it does signal. So that makes it a low noise antenna. So you can receive on the beverage very well. You may need to put a preamp on it, but it will hear signals better than it will hear local noise. Now the problem is it's terrible transmit antenna. So you need a separate antenna for transmitting. Obviously a beverage takes up acres and acres and acres of land. And some of the uh, uh, old wire antennas like uh, rhombics and so on likewise take up acres of land even though they work very, very well. So I hope that helps answer the question. You're both right. Uh, your uh, resonant antenna is going to tend to pick up more of the signals on the air whereas that long wire is directional and so it will pick up those signals better but not as well as other signals off the side. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.